guys gemini i hope that you guys are all doing great i send you so much love and light and just want to say thank you for being back here with me so this is your love reading for january let's take a look and see what spirit shows us is coming your way in love all right you guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you're new here don't forget to like the video my name is lynn and this is passion of heart tarot thank you so much for being here with me welcome if you are new let's jump right in gemini and see what is in store for you guys this month in your love life? Okay, before I begin, just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. Okay, Gemini, let's see what is coming in for you guys in January. So right away, I can see the initial M is coming through. I wonder if that's important to any of you watching this. And there's just a lot of energy here of reconnecting, reconnecting and like rebuilding something that, I mean, the tower card coming through. It lets me know that some of you were in a situation where uh, maybe things crumbled in a way that you felt it could never be repaired. All I know is that you have someone here that really does love you. I mean, these two energies are very significant because it's like um, the heartache, the heartache that goes along with maybe um, how you might still love this person just as much as they love you. But then there's just like so much turmoil that's been attached to the connection um some of you have gone through harder things than others some of you um this person might have put you through a lot really felt like they shook up everything around you when things ended for some of you it could be a divorce for others of you maybe it just felt like it was a divorce because of how close you guys actually were i know that something ended and it, it was um felt like it was very permanent very very hurtful the thing about the energy though is that there's still so much unspoken emotion like real and true love some of you watching this may know that you still feel this way about this person that you have on your mind um, and if you're wondering how they feel about you i see the love that's here i know that um they want you to let your guard down because I know that you just feel very protective of yourself. At least this is how someone feels. So if it's not you, Gemini, it could be how your person is feeling. Um, it's funny to see this as the overall energy, this five of swords and then that king of cups. It's, it's this energy of, um, maybe even wanting to spite this person so they can spite is a very strong word but maybe just trying to get them to understand the way that it felt for the other one because i know that you guys still love each other that's what i can see there is so much love that's here real love i just know that um different circumstances happen for uh, each of you watching here but what you what I can see from spirit that you really need to know is the love is still here will you let yourself embrace this person again I wonder if for some of you they've already tried to come back and repair things just know that they are gonna if they haven't already that's why this energy is coming through now will you receive them or will you let your emotions get the best of you what spirit is showing me is to just think carefully about your decisions and don't do anything um out of a place of spite because you just whoever this is they might end up spiting themselves because the love is is still there that that's just what it is i and this is a very it's a very strong energy to me because it's someone who's like, I'm going to have the last word. You're going to see things from my perspective. But is that really a winning battle? I don't think so. Not when, um, is it worth having the last word if you don't get this love back in your life that you truly still feel? 
So I see um, them coming back around. And for some of you, you just may be more open to um, wanting to mend this, wanting to rebuild it again and see where it can go. Because I do see someone letting their guard down. Doesn't mean that you jump right back into a full-blown relationship and everything was exactly the way that it used to be before. It's taking things step by step to get the connection on the right path. Okay, Gemini, I want to look at this Ace of Cups. You know, the thing about it is um, I just see where someone is very torn. They feel like I, ugh, my heart is broken. This, this hurts me more than anything has ever hurt me. I totally get that. You know, I see very strong energies coming through. So I don't take the pain that someone feels lightly. Um, and I also know that they're torn because one part of them wants to rebuild it. One part of them wants to put all of the, like the heaviness down, the baggage down, um, and step away from it and, and kind of follow their heart. That's what they want to do. But then they start to overthink things and then they feel uh, so worried, so, so consumed, you know, wondering like, am I, what's gonna happen if I take this chance? Because um, I see them coming back around but I also see the, the way that someone feels so torn. They want to follow their heart, but they're afraid to follow their heart. Okay, Gemini, that's what I can see. Let's look at this tower card. So that might be how you feel. Um, and some of you might still be in limbo of wondering if you guys are ever going to get back together. The opportunity is here. Even if it um, is very hard to believe, because I know when moments like this happen, it feels like it's forever. It feels like it's permanent. It feels like nothing is ever going to change. But what we see coming in for you guys is um, a, a very surprising chance at being able to mend things. Okay, that's important. Let's look at the tower. I just know that the two of you are really, you guys miss each other like crazy. I see that here. And I, I know where someone watching might might be like, no, I don't, I don't miss them. But I mean, if it, that's not what Spirit is showing me. Spirit is showing me something that is mutual and like still the energy of feeling like more should come out of this connection. Still the energy of, um, waiting for something to happen, something to, to still blossom out of all of this. Seeing the world card come in reverse, it lets me know that it's the energy of things not being done. It's not over. There's still more that you guys have to experience together, to learn from each other. And I just see where um, they long to reconnect. They, they just feel like with you, um, they feel so understood. I know that emotions may run really high in this connection because of all the intensity. Seeing this Ace of Cups, seeing this tower, it lets me know everything that is at stake for the two of you. The two of you really feel like um, this is my person, this is who I'm supposed to be with, to build things with, this is my future. The both of you do feel that way. And I know when you feel so intensely like that, things can really be magnified. You can be super sensitive when it comes to each other. I just know that the love is still here. Will whoever this is that's trying to, you know, win, trying to have the last word or like the final say, they don't really mean it. I, I know that that energy is a show because underneath everything, their heart is still like so invested in this person. Okay, that's what, and I, I'm telling you that what I can see here is where it felt like, maybe it still feels that way Gem, now, Gemini, like there's no way that we're gonna get back together. Things got too messed up. This is um, like a second chance, being granted a second chance. And what 
what you need to know is how much this person longs for it, how much they wish for it, how they can't really see anything outside of you or outside of the connection. The feelings are still here. They're still very real. Okay, I'm going to look at this Queen of Swords because that is spirit showing me how uh, the person who's very like guarded, um, trying to protect their heart, I see them letting the other one in. I, I see it. Okay, let's look at that. Uh, Leo's energy is coming through, you guys. You guys might be cross watchers. You might have that energy moon or rising. And then this ten of wands is repeating. We've already seen that. That's the energy of um, just things that have piled um, on top of you, on top of your person, things that have interfered in the connection, the pressure. I see, the, I see, um, the pressure being eliminated. Don't put so much pressure on yourself, Gemini, especially if you know that this is really where you want to be. Make the decision for yourself. Don't let anything, um, you have to listen to your heart. You have to listen to your logic as well. Try to try to make a decision from a balanced place. I mean, at least try. But the the one of the first things that you should definitely do is eliminate any of the pressure that you're putting on yourself to to maybe even forget about this person. If you still love them the way that I can see, don't be so hard on yourself because of that. Uh, don't, don't be, um, don't put so much pressure on yourself for everything to make sense and for everything to be so perfect because it's not gonna be. Not when so much is at stake and emotions are so high like this. Okay, Gemini. Um, so that is what I can see. The message to you from spirit is, is, uh, reconnecting and rebuilding things. And it might be very unexpected. That's what I can see. And like a crazy amount of love that is still here. Okay, Gemini. So that's what Spirit is showing me is coming through for you guys in January. Just know that I send you so much love and light. I truly do. Thank you all for everything. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Um, that is what I have for you guys. I'll touch back with you all in a few days. Love you so much and I'll see you then.